Hello, everyone. Welcome to Lady L Life Talks. Hey, if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us today. I am Lady L. How are you doing today? How are you really doing today? The title for our message today is Peace Be With You. Once again, let's find out, how are you dealing with the people in your life today? Not just the ones who you love and who treat you nicely, but those difficult people, you know the ones. The ones who rub you the wrong way. The ones who always manages to push your buttons. The ones who find your triggers every time. How are you dealing with the ones at work or the ones on the road when you're going home? The ones who live near and the ones who live far. Relationships can be very, very, very challenging. Why? Because it involves two or more sinners. And guess what? One of them is you. Hmm. Think about that. Now, we're going to go to Romans 12, verse 18. And it reads, If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. People have different ways and manners of communicating. They are sometimes dealing with life issues. Sometimes they have different voice inflections when they talk that to you may sound disrespectful or harsh or even mousy and timid, which still irritates you. Because of this, we have to try very, very, very hard to live at peace with each other. Now, here's the thing. Does the word say, as far as it depends on you? Or does it say, as far as it depends on the other person? No, it says, as far it, it, as it depends on you. Does it say we need to live at peace with some people? Nope. It says, as far as it depends on you, we need to live at peace with everyone. Let's go back a few scriptures. We're going to take a look at Romans 12 verse 9 through 17. And we're going to see how it is we should get along with everyone. Because the Bible always has the way to go. It always tells us what to do. It always has the answers. We just have to go to it. So, let's go to Romans. <clears throat> it reads, Love must be sincere. Okay? Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with the one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If 
it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. How's that for a challenge? It says, love must be sincere. Let's just stop, 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 and park right there for a minute. Hmm. I looked up the definition for sincere, and it reads, to be without deceit, pretense, or hypocrisy. To be honest in your desire to help someone. To be pure. So let's read that again with a twist. It says, your love for that person who rubs you the wrong way. Okay? And pushes your buttons and cuts you off in traffic. Okay? Must be without deceit and pretense as you love them. You need to be honest in having a desire to help that person. It should not be where you're flipping a particular finger, we, know, we all know which one, okay? Or honking on your horn to show your displeasure, but just let it go. It depends on you. Your love for these people need to feel to them pure. Wow. I, myself, have a lot to work on. A lot. But I am working on it. But this is what Jesus is calling us to. It also says, hate what is evil? Should I do a video on this particular topic about what God considers evil? Let me know. Go ahead, you know, take a moment to like, subscribe, and share this video, and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new content that we have coming up. All right, all right, all right. Everyone, Let's get back on topic. It also says to cling to what is good and be devoted to one another. Devoted to one another. How are we doing with that right now? To our devotion to the people who are in our lives. The people who irk us. You know? That mom, that dad, that child, that teenager. We know. Okay? These scriptures challenge us to honor those people more than ourselves. You know who has shown us the perfect example of all that is written in this scripture? You guessed it. Jesus. We can follow Jesus' example and his teachings about this by being faithful in prayer towards these people. Being faithful in prayer towards these people. We also need to have hope for these people and these difficult relationships. It is very hard to be in prayer over someone and to have hate in your heart for them. It is very hard to be in prayer towards these people, have hate in your heart, and be willing to pray for them blessings in their life. I challenge you. These particular people, pray for them. Pray blessings for them. And see what happens. See if that relationship won't change. We also need to be patient with these people. People don't change overnight. We don't change overnight. We expect forgiveness as soon as we, we, we say, please forgive me, or as soon as we say, I'm sorry, we expect forgiveness. Be the same to that person. Do the same for that person. Forgive them in your heart. Okay? 
we need to be willing to share with them, looking for needs that they may have so that you can practice hospitality. Open your heart and your life and your home to these relationships. These people who Christ himself has also died for. Let's go out today and put his words into practice. Let's scatter the seed of his words by sharing this video with some of these people. Click like and subscribe and like we at Lady L Life Talks like to say, go out, be blessed, and bless others. Ta-ta!